Okay, Punga. How are you today? I'm very fine, my brother. Man. How are you, sir? Uh, 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 I'm, I'm well, I'm well. It's good, it's good. Yeah. It's good. Uh, listen, I was uh, walking through Alice, as I usually do, almost every day. I mean, well, every day, because I live in Alice. And I noticed I was walking on a path, and there was a butterfly. Mm -hmm. So I'm figuring that we're ending our winter and going into our, our spring here. Mm -hmm. What's the what's the seasons like for for you here at the at, at the school at Unzamonkle uh, Daycare Center? What, does it, do you see a change in the seasons with the, with the attitudes of the children or anything like that? Can you just talk about that just a little bit? Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, you know, uh, at, a, at a moment, you know, as I see a lot of people are popping around, you know, to the center and asking me um, how they can they go, they go to help me, you know, and uh, having some, because even last week we did have some kind of uh, an awareness campaign whereby uh, different people from different stakeholders were around and it changed the attitude of the children and also the attitude of the caregivers as well, you know, bring some new hope that uh, let us continue with the, with the job that we've been given by, 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 by the mighty, you know. Mm -hmm. um, even there was another reverend who came here and he asked me that what kind of thing that he can help me, you know, or our children with that, you know. And also seeing the different stations like Radio Forte coming and trying to publish the, the, the needs and what we are doing in the school. And it really brings some new hope, you know, yeah, like a new but, spring. But you've had hope before. I mean, you, you talked about this before when you had hope and people come through, but they leave, they don't stay, uh, they, they make a lot of promises. Um, when you say hope, I mean, do you still, do you stay with that thought before or when you say hope, what, what do you really mean by that? Yeah, no, what I'm saying also, you know, um, I can't give up hope, you know, because once I lost hope, you know, then uh, 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 fortunately I, I will leave the Atlantic, the, the direction or, yeah, the direction, what, what I really need to do, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, yeah. You know, so when I'm talking about hope, I'm talking about that I need to revive. If the hope, my hope is coming to an end, then I need to revive, to reveal, and to revive it and make it alive again. You know, because once I lost hope, then it means that I will give up and uh, lost everything on my sponsor. Mm -hmm. I want to go back to what I said in the beginning about the change of season. I know what you're talking about, so we'll, we'll leave that for just a bit. When I say change of season, I mean just the weather itself. Do you find a difference between winter? and say spring or winter or spring and summer when the weather changes do you find a difference in the children mm. yeah i find it somewhat different with the children you know because in winter the children they they don't they, they don't uh, um, often come to school you know in their big numbers you know because even the weather they've got an influence you know on the attendance of the kids you know mm -hmm. And um, coming to the spring, and everybody is, is, is eager to come from the spring, and everything changed, you know, you know, and we experience a new um, greener pastures, you know what I'm saying, and, you know, more than the winter, because the winter is very dry, and it also affects the, 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 the attendance of the kids, you know, and their attitude also, you know. Yeah. Do you do you do you want a lot of, of, of kids here? Well, how can I say? It? Do, you, do do you do you want a lot of children here, or do you want medium and more? What's best for you? Um, what what could work for me? I need more children here. I mean, I need a lot of children. You know, you know, and I know that there's, there's a lot of children who need who need our help you know, from the center, you know, but it's just because of the circumstances, you know, that the center is not really conducive to accommodate all these kids, you know, that we might need them, you know. Mm -hmm. Remember that I talk about the, the, the inconvenience of the center, that the center is not really good for the children, and it, it really not appetize them or uh, make them to, to feel like coming to the center, because the center also is like the, the material or the building is not really good, mm -hmm. you know.
I would love to see more children coming. Mm -hmm. Now you have you have what you have three caregivers plus you, mm -hmm. right right mm -hmm. now on staff mm -hmm. on that that help with the school. Yes. Um, so how many uh, ideally well. Well, how many how many can you could those three caregivers plus you handle, and then how many more caregivers do you need if you would to expand the school? Is what I'm asking. Uh, eh, a round number it doesn't mean yeah. A, yeah, but I need more, more numbers, you know, because I mean, uh, the kids. When one kid is equivalent to five kids, you know, if you are taking a, a, a care for one kid, it's like you taking care for five kids. Uh, the, the amount of energy and work that you have to Yeah, put. that is the energy and work that you can impose to this to these kids. You know what I'm saying? So it means that we need a lot of volunteers, a lot of who caregivers, you know, who can also I mean help to this to do this team. Mm -hmm. you know? Now well, when 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 students when a regular class of students come through to help, they usually come what, once a week, twice a week, how many how, what's that situation like? Um they come twice a week twice a week and then it means that and the, for the, um, the the fourth time the live life love life love life is also coming on Fridays mm -hmm. so it means that there's no there's no really more work for me you know to mm -hmm. do at least I've got time to breathe you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. because uh, also when they when the students go and then I took over the classes you know mm -hmm. we we took over the classes you know what I'm saying okay let's let's go let's go day by day well on Monday what comes on Monday Monday they learn the, the, the psychology students you know doing the postgraduates from the University of Forte they are here mm -hmm. Monday you know, mm -hmm. Mondays and the Tuesdays the, the the social work students they also come here mm -hmm. and and Wednesday, the, the, the criminology, the, the criminology students they come here, and the social work students also both. come uh -huh. here, both mm -hmm. them. And on Thursday, uh, Thursday, mm -hmm. yeah, Thursday, also some group of students from the university who are really interested to come and help. You know, they are coming here and when also they say, together when they, with the with the with the Lovedale College students. Uh, so, so Lovedale comes, Lovedale comes on Thursday on with Thursday. some students from the University of Fort Hare. Yeah. But they're that they don't have a particular department. They just want to help, or what? 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 Yeah, they they, they 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 help the kids. You know, like doing some running some programs. You know, intensive programs with the kids. You know, and then on Friday, obviously they come. We'll have we love life in on board. You know. Mm. So love life comes on Friday. Yes. Okay. Let's go back to Lovedale and what happens on Thursday. Can you just go back, and and what kind of? Let's go back. To for the first day, the the um, um, the psychology, so mm -hmm. the psychology first day. What what kind of activities? What what happens then? No, they they really work. They like they work. Uh, uh, they doing group work, mm -hmm. and also um, working on individually, mm -hmm. right? Um, trying to to heal them. You know, because these kids are really fucked up inside, you know, mm -hmm. and then they need a lot of help inside because mm -hmm. they've been discriminated, discriminated all over the world, I mean, mm -hmm. you know, and even to their community and even by their family members, you know what I'm saying? So they do the, the family work also. Mm -hmm. When you say heal them, what, what, kind, what, what does that mean? You, you, there's like physical healing, there's psychological healing, there's emotional healing, what kind of healing? It's, it's going like psychological healing, emotional healing, spiritual healing. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, not physical healing. Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. yeah. um, I, I want to go back to the, to the days, but let me just go off for a second. Now, there was a, a, a um, um, some gentleman from a church group that came by one time. Do, mm -hmm. Does the church get involved? Yes, of course, of course, of course. So many times the church get involved. You know, they they, they come here, yeah, the church and uh, some other group from the so-called the the, the matricial school. You know, the, the hook school? The, the multiracial school, that is Davidson. Multiracial school. Yeah, mm -hmm. Davidson will come and pop in and give some food parcels to the kids, you know what I'm saying? How often do, how often do, does, does, the, does the multiracial school, the Davidson school, and how often does the church school, the church people come through? Uh, maybe twice a year, mm -hmm. that is the church group, you mm -hmm. know, but different church groups, you know, they're coming, you know. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but they are, they are not coming on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and even the the, the matricial school is not coming from regular places, but they make sure that every year they have to do something for the kids. It's either the Christmas party or also 
I mean, or, or the 67 minutes of Mandela, mm -hmm. you know, or they just pop in and do and feel like doing something, giving us maybe some little bit of vegetables so that we can continue with our gardening, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. I want to talk about the garden in another in another episode, if we can say their episodes. But let's go back to now on Tuesday. What group comes on Tuesday again? What, what's the Tuesday group from from uh, from Lovedale? Yeah, no, that would be the the, the, the university. Yeah, the university, well, I mean, the, I'm, the I'm, uh, university for here. But what's the group on on Tuesday? What do they do? What does the Tuesday group do? Um, they're doing uh, art, art, right. fine mm -hmm. art. Mm -hmm. You know. And uh, yeah, fine art. Do, do they bring the supplies themselves, or do you have to have the supplies here? When they say fine art, what is that? Is it? Yeah, is it they paint? bring they bring the painting by themselves. These mm -hmm. the students, you mm -hmm. know, they bring it to themselves. You know, like now, when you say fine art, what kind of is is that? Uh, is that um, yeah. is that crayon? Is that is that paint? Is that um, what is that? Yeah, it's it's crayons, you know, that they are using it and doing some little bit of filing system with the kids, and it's like that. Um, mm. Could can do can uh, can, uh, can oh, uh, I'm sorry. Okay, well let's let's stop here. This is good for now. Yeah. Thank you so much. Sure.